Okay, perfectionism. It is challenging to stay on top of the perfectionism monster. Beating this behavior is not a one and done thing. It's like a rash that will go out of control if you do not manage it. And I know that sounds gross, but it's true. Consistent vigilance is required to keep the perfectionism monster from keeping you from trying, producing, starting, anything at all. I truly think that most, if not all of us, deal with this on some level. If we think we don't, we're probably just really, really, really good at managing it and we don't even notice it anymore. Three things that define perfectionism. It's procrastination with a fancy title. When you hear the word perfectionism, there's a little bit of reverence, a little bit of pride attached to it, right? When you hear it said in context, it comes off as complimentary in some way. But whether we take note of that or not, it's just another procrastination crutch. Overthinking. Perfectionism is overthinking everything, at every turn, to the detriment of your brilliance. Your brilliance that the world needs. Your brilliance that's gonna help someone somewhere if you can ever get your content out into the world. Overthinking can be such poisonous behavior and oftentimes we don't even realize we're doing it. So keep overthinking it, keep tweaking it without hitting that publish button or whatever the case may be, and you will have nothing to show for it and nowhere to move forward from. Insecurity, none of us wants to admit this, but let's be honest. Perfectionism is really just another way of acting out, it's not good enough, which translates to, I'm not good enough. So it all boils down to not executing on something because you're feeling like you're gonna be judged. Guess what? We're all human, and this is classic human behavior. And the fact is, you will be judged. We will all be judged at one time or another, by someone, somewhere. This is also classic human behavior. So what do we do? You gotta get over it. Don't let this drive what you do or edit what you do. You're the boss of you, no one else. And you cannot please everyone. You're never gonna please everyone. And that's okay. So cut yourself a break, seriously. Learning your triggers. When you sense you're covering up your procrastination with some form of perfectionism, acknowledge it. Every situation is different. So there's no single answer that's gonna solve everyone's particular tendencies. However, if you have the self-awareness to see how your own perfectionism monster has surfaced and how it's presenting itself and keeping you from moving forward, you can act on it pretty quickly and effectively. How to beat or manage perfectionism. Get out of your own way. Stop thinking, just do, execute. Don't you feel better now? You will. A weight will lift and you will feel magic. You won't feel perfect and you might feel insecure, but you will still feel magic. So stop with the over planning, start with the executing. You're freezing yourself out of actually delivering with all of this over planning nonsense. Definitely plan. Planning is really, really important. You must plan, but plan enough. Don't over plan and know when it's time to stop planning and start executing. When you're stuck in that eternal planning loop that is perfectionism, just stop with the planning all together. Put down the pen, both hands up like Padma says. Hands up, utensils down. Work with whatever outline you have. It's gonna be imperfect. You know why? Because nothing is perfect. And then just start executing. Start actually creating your content. Here's a good example. I am doing vlog every day in April. So every day in April, I'm posting a brand new video right here to my YouTube channel every single day. So for me in my particular situation here, stopping with the over planning and just executing means this. One, work with the outline I've got. No time for perfectionism. I got a video to make. Two, set up the camera and the lighting. Just do it. Three, press record and just go. Yikes, but go. End of story. Yikes, yes. Execution, yes. Perfectionism, no. Now editing without perfectionism, I am working on that one. But look, the bottom line is there is no growth, whether it's visible or invisible to the rest of the world, without mistakes. Improving just doesn't happen unless you're making mistakes. 
So we got to get used to making mistakes and we kind of have to embrace it a little bit. So just go. Go on and make those imperfect mistakes and bonus points if you make them in public and then move forward. Tomorrow's another day and for me, another video. If you enjoy this content, please give this video a thumbs up. Share it with someone who needs it. If you like my videos, subscribe to my channel and hit that little bell if you wanna be notified when I have a new video up. And I'm making new ones every day in April. Bye-bye.